it's Angel and it's Vlogmas day one. I thought I'd start out by showing you my house. Don't really have a lot of Christmas decorations up yet. I have one strand of lights up on the porch here. <laughs> See without the sun blinding you. I have managed though to take down all of the Thanksgiving decorations, so that's a plus. So this is the living room. We've got Sammy's bed and the couch all the important stuff. And then over here we have the kitchen and the dining room table. And down here is my office area where I sit and do most of my homework. Sometimes I use the laptop and work on it while sitting on the sofa. And the bathroom, bedroom, and this is Sammy's room and the dressing room. Down the spiral staircase is Dan's land. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> and through the kitchen, we have another door to the yard. Hi, Sammy. My Christmas wreath. I forgot I put that up too. So I have two things. I have a set of lights and I have the Christmas wreath. <laughs> because it's the beginning of the Christmas season, I thought I'd share a couple of tips on what I do to stay low stress during this hectic season. Tip one, start planning early. I started planning my budget back in August and even that was a little bit late. I make a list of everybody that I want to buy gifts for and then I put how much money I want to spend on those gifts and that helps me figure out how much money I need to save each month in order to get to my goal. And if I see something that's on the list, it's within the price point that I have prescribed, then I go ahead and I get that item and then that way I'm not running out to the mall on Christmas Eve. Tip two, don't do what doesn't matter to you. Sometimes people get invited to a bunch of parties and they feel like they really need to go. Don't do it. Sometimes these parties have themes and maybe you don't have the clothes to do it, like the ugly sweater. Okay, well everybody has an ugly sweater, but maybe like a 60s theme holiday party you don't have 60 themes clothing, don't worry about it. Just wear your regular clothes if you want to go to the party or skip it completely if you don't really feel like going. Three, focus on the things that do matter. My husband and I like to give little gifts to everybody in his unit. So this year, we're gonna be sitting down and filling these bags up with goodies. I got these bags on super clearance the day after Christmas last year because I knew that we were going to do it again this year. And I set up a budget for the amount of money that I'm going to spend to fill these bags. Four, don't overspend. It's easy to do, especially when coworkers get together and decide at the last minute to have a white elephant gift exchange. These $10 events can quickly add up. I would recommend not participating or only participating in one. Then use this year's budget to help you budget for next year. Five, take time out, take a breath. <laughs> it's okay to not put the Christmas tree up in one day. My tree takes hours to put up. So maybe it'll get put up this year, maybe it won't. I don't know yet, we'll have to see. But if it does, I'll be sure to record it. <laughs> Those are my five tips for having a less stressful holiday season. I hope that you find them useful. Please share your suggestions in the comments box below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you tomorrow.